Alright guys, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you guys can get these shaders in Roblox. This is super, super simple, so let's get right into this video. So the first thing I'm gonna mention, obviously, is you're gonna need an NVIDIA graphics card to do this, because this is using the NVIDIA features. And before we get into the actual tutorial, first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your game drivers updated for NVIDIA. So make sure your game drivers are updated. So you guys wanna type in GeForce Experience. Click on that. Then you guys are going to go to drivers and then right here it says GeForce Game Ready Driver is available and you're going to want to go ahead and update. If you don't have an update ready, then obviously there's you're completely good and you can start. So if you already have your driver updated, you're completely good to go and we can get into this video. Okay guys, so I will have all three of these links on my website below as well as all the other information that you'll need for this video and I will reference the website multiple times in this video. So I would recommend just having that pulled up and ready. But the first thing you want to do is click on NVIDIA Profile Inspector.zip from this first link right here. We're going to want to download this. You guys are going to want to go to your downloads and you guys are going to simply want to extract this now that we have it open we can click nvidia profile inspector.exe this little thing will pop up you guys probably don't see it because my obs is not picking up on it but you guys are just want to click yes and once you have that you guys are going to you can full screen this if you want i'm going to do it just to make it look easier and i'm going to scroll down until i find a setting right here where it would say other so as you guys can see right there and right here where it says anzel allowed list disabled simply go here and change this to allowed and then click apply changes and then we're done here this we can actually go ahead and delete if you guys don't need it anymore, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do because I no longer need it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do is open up the next two links and you're going to simply click on the code button and then click download zip and just go ahead and do that for both of them. Code, download zip. And now we're going to have both of them downloaded. Now I'm on my desktop. We have the Roshade NVIDIA and now we also have the Quintmaster.zip. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and extract both of these. I'm just showing it on my desktop so it's a little bit more simple. So make sure that you extract both of these and we can obviously go ahead and delete the zip file. Now we have the two folders right here. You're going to want to open up the Quint Master, go into the shaders, and now that we have this here, we're going to want to open up a new tab, go to our downloads, move this out so we have two different ones, two separate ones, and we're going to go into row shaders, row shade setters, NVIDIA, shaders and textures, and we're going to just go here, click control A, and then click control C so it will copy them. Do control V, paste them in here, and do replace this file in the destinated location, and there we go. We have all of them in here now. All right, and the next thing we're going to do once we have these in the folder is we're going to go down to our search, and we're going to paste this, which can be found on my website again all the resources that are in this video can be found on my website and we're gonna click on open and as you guys can see there is no anzel folder in here so if you don't already have one you're gonna need to go ahead and create one so you can just click here click create new click folder and click continue we're gonna type in a n s e l like so okay so i know it looks a little bit messy right now but what we're gonna want to do is actually go to our folder with all of the textures in it so the quint folder where we just pasted all of these in here is the folder that we're gonna be putting into the anzel folder so we got all of this and you guys can simply click control a click control c copy all of these like so i'm going to minimize this real quick just you know so it's a little bit easier and then we're going to go ahead and click on the anzel folder and then we can click paste and it will say you need to provide administrator permission to copy to this folder so i'm going to cl simply click do this for all current items and then click continue by clicking do this for all current items it's going to just go ahead and do it all so we don't have to con click continue 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 on all of them. so click continue and as you guys can see it has simply gone ahead and pasted this so i'm going to go ahead and minimize this and the next thing we're going to need to do is simply go to our roblox player you may have it on the desktop or you can just type in a roblox player you're going to run a right click on it and click on open file location then again where the roblox player is you're going to click open file location again on it and where you see roblox player dot beta go here and you're going to rename this to euro truck so what you guys want to do is obviously change the name right here to euro trucks beta 2 dot exe then you guys are going to go ahead and launch this so what you guys want to do is go ahead and simply join a game i'm just going to go ahead and join bed wars because that is the game that i have on here and i'm going to go ahead and click alt f3 and as you guys can see it has this game filter that does pop up and now i'm going to click on styles add filter and then as you guys can see we have all of these different ones brightness and contrast black and white there's so many different ones that you guys can go try bloom and i don't want to add too many because i'm going to crash my computer and as you guys can see we do have shaders installed for completely free if this video helps you guys out at all please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and do remember that when you are using these shaders you're going to have to open up the euro trucks file each time to actually use it and if you just want to use regular roblox you can just obviously just click play like you usually do. anyways i will see you guys in the next one.